After a dominating win versus arch rival Miami, Kyle Jennings and the Tampa Bay Rowdies are ready for home field advantage over the next two months. It starts tonight with the El Paso locomotive coming to town. It's Tampa Bay taking on El Paso from downtown St. Pete coming up next. Welcome, everybody. You're looking just outside one of the more iconic venues in USL Championship, Al Lang Stadium. It's the pregame show presented by Farah and Farah, Tampa Bay's injury attorneys, Tampa Bay, hosting El Paso. Come on inside the booth, everybody. We're thrilled you're here. Drew Felios alongside Ryan Davis. And Ryan, the Rowdies are on quite a roll. Sum up their success here over the past few weeks. Well, I think they're starting to buy into what Coach Robbie Nielsen is selling. He wants them to be brave. He wants the ball to be played further away from their goal and on the opposition's half, which means pushing up high, being aggressive, pressing, and then becoming more penetrative with the passing. So tonight, a tough task for the locomotive of El Paso. They have not had a lot of success lately. Armando Moreno leads the way. He has scored three of the team's five goals. He's nimble and he plays off of Dylan, the other large striker. So he complements the other forward perfectly and he's deadly in front of goal, which makes a real problem for the Rowdies tonight. For the Tampa Bay Rowdies, Aaron Guillen, his fifth year as a Rowdy. He is the team captain and he has represented this club so well. El Nuevo Capitano. So he has started countless seasons for the Rowdies now. He's such a leader in the locker room, but he's also one of the best passers in USL. So the Rowdies rely on him to get the ball out of the back to the midfielders. Nobody talks about that, but it's a huge asset that he brings to the team. Those players to watch tonight brought to you by Hooters, America's wing joint. We are set for what should be an outstanding Saturday night of soccer. Tampa Bay and El Paso. You're watching Tampa Bay's 44 and ESPN Plus. Kickoff straight ahead. At Farrah and Farrah, we simplify your paperwork and make signing case documents a piece of cake. Farrah and Farrah, here to make it easy. How long does it take to set up a free consultation with Farrah and Farrah? About this long. Fair and Farrah, here to make it easy. When you're going through a personal injury, the little things matter. At Farah and Farah, if you can't come out to meet us, we'll come out to meet you. Farah and Farah, here to make it easy. No matter how you've been hurt, in a car accident, on the job, or from a medical mistake, it doesn't matter. Life goes on. How that life goes on is where we come in. Farah and Farah. Absolutely gorgeous night at Al Lang Stadium here in downtown St. Pete. The Tampa Bay Rowdy is set to take the pitch against Los Locos, the El Paso locomotive. So thrilled to have you alongside Drew Felios with Ryan Davis. There you take a look at the lineups tonight for Los Locos. We talked about Moreno. How about their goalkeeper Jamali Waite? out of Pennsylvania in net. Really a solid team. Still trying to find that chemistry though, Ryan, that would lead to victories. Yeah, I think that midfield and their forwards are exceptional. Stofo on the left, Navarez on the right. Rivas, Dylan Marino, they can score goals and create for each other, but they just haven't seemed to find that mix as yet in the last third. Let's see if they can turn it on eventually, Phil Paso. The one 3 4 in effect tonight for Los Locos. And for the Tampa Bay Rowdies, not many surprises. You look down the Rowdies uh, line of 
defense here tonight. Uh, and up top, Manuel Arteaga, three goals. So Cal Jennings, again, leading the team in scoring, but number nine has been exceptional. Yeah, and playing off of Cal Jennings, he's doing a great job. He does a lot of the dirty work through. He presses very high, which is exactly what Robbie Nielsen wants. And Cal Jennings works off of him as well. And they provide such a great compliment to each other. What a beautiful shot that is right there. I mentioned it is mild, the sun going down here, and just a gorgeous night to be at this venue. The Rowdies were in the iconic green and gold, and El Paso were in the navy blue. There's Tampa Bay. Rowdies led by their goalkeeper Jordan Farr, 11 saves so far in this 2024. Campaign still trying to sort of find themselves, Ryan, but Forrest Lasso and company off to a good start. Want to go back to Jordan Farr. Yes, the 5 2 win last week against Miami, but in that first half, he had two crucial saves to keep the score nil nil. If Miami scored those two goals, it's a completely different complexion. He had two incredible saves in that first half. Final words from Lewis Hilton. You take a look on the other side. Jamali Waits, very talented, got great size, great athleticism. You look at this guy, you know he's got tremendous potential to be a star at this level. The guy literally had the best save of the USL Championship in 2023. And then Pittsburgh River Hounds, they finished number one in the league. So he knows how to win, he knows what it's like being on a winning team. Underway from Al Lang Stadium, Lewis Hilton puts it in motion. Tampa Bay and El Paso. Our coaching matchup brought to you by Fair and Fair. Tampa's personal injury attorneys, Brian Claire out for Los Locos. Young head coach, but I'll tell you what, he is being tested right now, and time may be running out. They want to get some victories on their side as we slowly head to the third part of the season. As there you see Far coming up and taking away. And early on, we have got little contact inside. Jordan Farr down early here, and he may have really taken one on that exchange. Well, you have to be brave as a goalkeeper. You're throwing your head and your hands down by the on-runner's feet, and Marino inadvertently, not on purpose, just to follow through. I think the shin or the knee caught Farr, and he is completely dazed right now. Well, what a way to start this game in the first minute already. The medical staff for the Rowdies coming out to check on the well-being of the Rowdies' first-year goalkeeper. Literally the first one, second play of the game. And his coach Robbie Nielsen, he's want, he has wanted more points in the opening five games than he has right now. But this team, we talked about it in the open draw, nine goals in the last three matches. He's starting to understand what he wants. And if this Rowdy's team can turn the corner, he'll be in business. Yeah, Phil Brino already getting loose for the Rowdies. The third year goalkeeper for Tampa Bay. A chance that he could come in, and that's got to be exasperating as a keeper. You think it could be your moment, and then, of course, good news. Far is okay. He's going to continue. But you know, Brino also wants to get a chance at some point. Of course. And you know, the goalkeeping position, it's a no mistake position. So once your number is called and you're off of your seat, it could be nerve wracking. Talk about Coach Nielsen, though. He is slowly settling in. Hey, if you had told us at the beginning of the year the Rowdies would be unbeaten at this point, I'd say that first year in his campaign going pretty well. Absolutely. And one of his trademarks is what do the Rowdies do without the ball? And so far, they're starting to press a lot higher. They're being more aggressive, doing what he likes. They're being braver. And uh, the more they can show that, the better off they'll be. Our injury report tonight brought to you by Orlando Health Bayfront. As the rowdy slowly built from the back. Zach Caravel still waiting for him to one day get his shot. We are still yet to see him in two years take the pitch for Tampa Bay. Yeah, Zach Caravo, talk about injury after injury. Box to box midfielder, huge engine. Here come the Rowdies. Kyle Jennings, electric. He'll squeeze the pass through. The angle, a tough one from that right side as Bodily chases it down near the end line. Like Bodily 1v1. The ball deflected and it'll head out of bounds. The Rowdies building early. So our keys to the game brought to you by. 
fair and fair at Tampa personal injury lawyers. Ryan, what have you got? You know, we talk about Robbie Nielsen. What does he, what do the Rowdies do without the ball? Well, he wants them to be brave, push up high. And that even means people like Forrest Lasso here and Gian and Jordan Doherty. They have to go right up onto the forwards back. If the ball is played over their head, that means trouble, but he wants that from his defenders. As for El Paso, long ball out to the sides. That's where the space is in this Rowdies formation. Get behind bodily and get to the sides. Crowd comes alive for the first time, sensing an early Rowdies chance as that ball will sail over. And out of bounds, we'll have a goal kick coming up. So Jordan Farr a little shaken up here to start. Tampa Bay gains possession, and that guy right there has been impressive lately for the Rowdies. Josh Perez right now, three assists amongst the best in the league. So his technical ability is so good. He plays in tight spaces. And in that last third, he's now playing a lefty on the left, like a natural winger. So he's just providing service to Carl Jennings and company. Quickly down the pitch, Justin Dillon, the target, has a goal early in the season for Los Locos. Big number nine. First season suiting up for El Paso. I actually kind of like what El Paso does with Dylan and Marino. Dylan is that huge target guy. They can play the ball into him. And he creates space for other players. He's shown that with assists at nine assists for San Antonio in 2022. He already has two assists this season, so he can lay the ball off for Marino and company as they come running in. Tony Alfaro puts it in motion. And now Los Locos trying to gain possession for us. Lasso calmly able to break that one up. Lasso, 28 clearances coming into this contest, making his 91st appearance tonight. Bodily will now take care of it. You know, Forrest, for the Rowdies. Forrest Lasso played in Sweden just about two seasons ago. Brian Clairhout was in Sweden coaching. I wonder if they went up against each other. Yeah, Lasso, if he had not taken that season <laughs> with the Rowdies off, he would be well over 100 appearances. He has been so steady amongst that back line for the Rowdies. Like Jordan Doherty. Paso just cannot get comfortable here early. Rowdy is applying some major pressure. And Lewis Hilton able to come up with it. So Lewis Hilton injured most of last season. Stayed healthy so far here in 2024 and just steadily getting better. And better back to the old Lewis we were used to seeing in 2021 and 22. Yeah, Lewis Hilton could attack the space before that injury when he had the ball. Now it's just a little bit more side to side, understandably. He wants to stay on the pitch. The Rowdies want, to, want him to stay on the pitch. So once again, an early whistle. There's some bodily go down hard. And we've got a yellow card here already. In the eighth minute. So that is Javier Navarez who picks up the yellow. That's not going to be easy for Navarez. He's matched up with Blake Bodily for this evening. And Blake Bodily, a goal and an assist in the last two weeks, is in ripping form at the moment. So Navarez is going to have to watch his P's and Q's while defending Bodily. Here's Bodily, just tremendously active here to start the season. And now Jordan Doherty making his 100th appearance for the Rowdies here tonight. Literally watched him grow up from the time he arrived here as an 18-year-old. Anything the Rowdies have ever needed, he provided. It's amazing what he's done for this team. So unselfish, good control, positioning. And a heck of a defender. Ball given away now. El Paso unable to build. Lasso taps it back to Jordan Farr, and now Tampa Bay will once again move right to left. Here's Doherty. 
Those soft feet. A little sloppy that time, though, on the giveaway. So nicely done by Stoffer. Tampa Bay with Lasso comes back to intercept just in time. And Stoffer is one of those players that can play either the left wing back or right wing back. This time cutting inside and creating space for someone else. Oh, look at that mix up right there. Tony Alfaro and Cal Jennings going at it. I know a team that is this close to that southern border, Ryan. We got another yellow card handed out. Several players from Mexico making up the El Paso roster, and they are passionate, passionate soccer players, aren't they? Absolutely. Every tackle, every possession is played with emotion. Just look at Alfaro, six seasons in the MLS. He's just come to the USL for his first season. Veteran of 30 years old, played for New York City, Seattle, LA Galaxy. And just like that, Ryan, in the last few minutes, yellow on Navarez, yellow on Alfaro. And it's one thing to make a move at half time, but you still have 40 minutes to play. Well, 35 anyway. Over the top, Jennings comes and gets it, and an offside called on the Rowdies for the first time tonight. We're in the 10th minute, just underway. Drew Felios, Ryan Davis, and our phenomenal Tampa Bay Rowdies crew. Thrilled to have you with us on ESPN Plus, or Tampa Bay is 44. We had a visit in the booth before the game. Drew, you want to remind everyone? Yeah, the former Tampa Bay Rowdy, Zach Steinberger, coming up to say hello. Flourishing now as a realtor. Uh, in downtown St. Petersburg. He is a very, very busy guy and just a tremendous guy. We miss him on the field, but we love him every time we see him. Busy just like he was on the field, a boxer, box midfielder. Now he's a boxer, box realtor, going up and down the highways of Tampa Bay. Are able to get his hands on it. Select is the official match ball supplier of USL Championship and many elite leagues throughout Europe. Go to Select-sport.com for the latest select products, specials, and more. Select player's choice. Well, Aaron Guillen, Forrest Lasso are going to have their hands full with Dylan. He's a target forward. He's physical. He's going to throw his body around. And Aaron Guillen is going to have to ice that one in the morning. Notice a few delay tactics from El Paso here in the first 11 minutes of this game. So we just got word from a Rowdy fan, Matthew Cox. He did remind us that Claire Hout was actually Forrest Lasso's coach in Sweden. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Matthew. Oh, beautiful move by Aaron Guillen. And this ball set in motion by Perez. Nicely done by way the unused substitutes nothing gets by them. <laughs> Thank you, Matthew Cox You know, we just got a little snippet of Aaron Guillen how good he is on the ball. We talk about him defensively That's how much of an asset he is on that left-hand side for the Rowdies to bring the ball out to the back comfortably El Paso trying to get it out of their half you see the speed of the Rowdies. Nicely done here as Navarez will attack. Numbers four for Los Locos. Still not a victory to their credit here in 2024. They're literally trying to shock the world tonight here at Alang. And they have the talent, Jacqueline Rivas, the veteran El Salvador international, number seven. Had 10 goals last year for Miami. And if he gets going, if he gets his confidence going, and he can totally turn things around for El Paso. Nice distribution here. Dolan Meyer had a good touch. Now it's Navarez. Navarez! Oh, they were able to put it right in front. Far got a fingertip on it, and the Rowdies dodged danger. You can see Far just being a little hesitant while going for that one because of the collision a couple of minutes ago. Great delivery by El Paso in that area of uncertainty. He's chasing just a bit right now as Dolan Meyer once again settles things for Los Locos. Navarez sends it back. Team with absolutely nothing to lose. They've lost five straight 
but the past three they have conceded by just a goal so they have been in these matches now it's Rivas Rivas will get it back on the give and go the ball is shot just outside the 18 yard box and that was nicely done by Calvillo Eric Calvillo I love what El Paso are doing just making it simple they, they bring the ball up onto the sides out into the wings and then bring it back in just a controlled sort of pace they're playing right now in Alan Stadium. So Javier Nevadas, look at that sight. High above Al Lang. Rowdies will get set here defensively. First corner kick of the match. Coming from the visiting side. So this is Navarez, the in swinger. Jordan Farr on point. Not much wind here tonight at the stadium. Let's see where this ball carries. It's got some curl on it and Farr able to punch it out. What a good punch by Farr. Taking the pressure off of his center box. Nice deflection by Perez. A little hustle. Paying off for Tampa Bay. Now it's Rose. Mob slowly starting to get into it behind that Rowdy's goal. Rowdy's starting with the fanfare at their backs here tonight. Such an integral part of the atmosphere here at Alang. And there's that press through. There's the bravery that Coach Nielsen wants from this team. Get right up to that halfway line. Forrest Lasso brought the ball down when they tried to, do, to use the long ball counter. Already, the Rowdies have the ball at their own half, and now they're pinning El Paso in this sequence. Jordan Doherty. Sends it forward now. Rowdies finding feet. Lewis Hilton. Back to Lasso, who will size things up here. Aaron Guillen. Now attacking for the Rowdies. Near side. Bodily will get a touch. Bodily dishes it to Hilton. Slowly the Rowdies penetrating that defense right side now. And this ball is going to be lost out of bounds. You can relax boldly in Tampa Bay by claiming your next adventure at visittampabay.com. That's visittampabay.com. You know, I'm going to do it. I'm going to go to visittampabay.com. I'm going to get one of those canoes, you know, those things that go up the river. I can see it. I'm going to do it. You're a natural. <laughs> Absolutely. I'll get my alligator, my bear um, repellent. I'll have everything on me. I'll have mosquito spray. Anything you need, I'll have. Just make sure you wear some sunscreen and find some nice safe water, okay? Yes, yes. So now for Lasso. Lewis Hilton mentioned Brian that his Slowly trying to get back to that little form. Hilton had so many great moments here inside this stadium. He's really the quarterback for this Rowdies side, to put it in football terms. Yeah, he can definitely pull the strings. He dictates where they're going to go. And his pace on his passing is so good as well. Guillen sets it, trying to get Perez. Off and running, and the Rowdies again knocking on the door. Have not had a shot on goal just yet. You know, the Rowdies got their first goal against Miami when Miami had possession, like right here in front of their own box. They stole it, quick counter press, got the first goal. So, right here is where Coach Nielsen wants them to turn it on. And look at that, another collision, but it just shows the intensity of the Rowdies players without the ball, hence, the reason for another collision. Rivas in the collision that time with Perez. Perez got the better of that one, but a yellow card dished out to Josh Perez. Look at Tampa Bay and where they are at this point in the season. I told you they were kind of coming up to that that third mark of the season Ryan six of the next seven matches will be at home here so this is when you really start to really find your form as a club you know, you got a lot of home cooking ahead 
And I think the Rowdies have begun to turn that corner already. You mentioned the success in scoring goals two out of the last three matches. In Pittsburgh was always going to be tough with that narrow field. And of course, Coach Bob Lilly trying to turn his team around at the same time. So yes, it was a draw, but getting six points, seven points out of three games and scoring nine in those three, I think is a huge success for the Rowdies in the last stretch. Nevarez. Los Locos. Switching the point of attack here. Set this one ahead. No damage done there. Tampa Bay had everybody in position. It'll be a goal kick from Jordan Farr. Rallies have scored 12 times this year. They come into tonight with a plus six. Goal differential on the other side rank just five goals on the side of Los Locos. They are struggling with a negative five goal differential. You know, this beautiful game, it's so free-flowing. Sure. There, there isn't one spot that's suffering. It's it's all over the pitch is where they're suffering for El Paso. You can't just point to one area. Rowdy's looking really good on this series. Jennings to the end line. Able to put it into the hands there of Waits. You saw Cal Jennings, he is never out of it, no matter what angle he has, he is always a threat. He's a hybrid type of forward. He, just, he doesn't just sit into the 18-yard box and finish goals. He plays in that pocket just in front of the defense. He takes players on, he can finish on his own, and he can create um, chances for other players as well, which makes him so dangerous to defend. His angle that time was absolutely porous and still managed to put up a decent ball. So flying through, able to get a piece on the header. And now Los Locos threatening once more. This is Dylan. Left side. Here comes that cross. It is on goal. And Jordan Farr able to take it right off target. Well, again, going out wide, trying to get behind Manjuma, trying to get behind Bodily. That's what El Paso is trying to do. This time, stuff over the cross. And headed by Moreno. Do you know who the Iron Man Stouffer is? Stouffer played the most games for Las Vegas Lights in 2023. Just like Akinyori did for Miami. Akinyori, 90 out of 94 games he played for Miami. That is what you call Iron Man. It's of course started every match for El Paso this season. So too Stofa. Akinyori, he has gained tremendous respect throughout this league as Doherty will lose it out of bounds. A little bit frustrated on that possession. eFootball 2024 is here. Live your dream, play as your favorite USL championship club. eFootball free to play. Download now. See a shot there coming on, and that was very close to contact inside the box as the Rowdies quickly get it out of there. And Ryan, that was a very quick counter by the visiting side. A lot of physicality on Marino when he tried to get that shot off. Couldn't allow him to keep his balance so close into the 18-yard box. They had to put some sort of pressure on him, they did. And he just couldn't pick out his corner because of the physicality. Manuel Arteaga being chased here. Stoffer, and now taken away by Eric Calvillo. Soko is playing a bit fearless here in the first 22. Well, you know he's so nimble. At the point, they just can't pick him up. He is asking for it again. Nevadas going for the home run. Farr's got to come out. He is there. Lay off his line atop that box. And he is one to take chances. He is really making a habit of coming way, way up the pitch. Yeah, like a sweeper keeper. If you roll, he's going to push high up like Coach Nielsen wants. He's going to have to turn into a defender almost. And defend with his le with his legs and his head. Taken away by Perez. Perez has it now. Hilton. Calmly controls for the Rowdies. Lasso. 
Oh, right from the middle of that attack. Now it's Perez. Perez gets it for right side. Oh, the ball is taken away. Great job by Jamali Wayne. Bodily and Tampa Bay not done. Blake Bodily spreads it to Guillen. Aaron Guillen with a high cross, and this one is out of play. Well, again, Josh Perez completing tight pockets. This is where they pick him up for from Miami. Little chip over the top. Artiaga can't finish. Good save by Wade, it must be said. But it shows what Perez can do when he gets a chance to turn and face the opposing goal. He can pick players out. Well, that was a tight pocket, to say the least. And he yeah. managed to find a way to get it to where it was a threat. Well, since we're so fresh off of the whole Miami trip, let's give some shout-outs to some Miami players. Riva, Rivas, Akinyori, Perez, all former Miami players mm -hmm. on the pitch tonight in Alan. Oh, guess who's uh, an, an, another former teammate? Dylan. Yes. And uh, Jordan Farr, ex-San Antonio teammates. Rowdy's on the counter. Oh, going down right there inside the center circle is Perez. And once again, looks like we are going to have a foul. Our head official tonight is Alex Beeler. Matthew Schwartz also on the crew. Jonathan Smith and Arnell Selman. Well, he's been a busy man, Alex Beeler. Three yellow cards, and we're just in the 25th minute right now. This Perez trying to get away from Dolomir. He's working the right side now. You mentioned Ryan, the former Miami players. Also, I have to mention someone who used to work in the front office for Miami, our own Nico Castillo. Of course. Who has come back to Tampa Bay, where he was sort of raised in the world of soccer, and what great contributions he is making now to this franchise, acquiring a lot of the talent that the Rowdies are putting on the field. He very much had a hand in Josh Perez selection. I think so. A season ago. Bodies now send it back. And again, it's bodily. Bodily sizing things up. Like bodily, so good. 1v1. Working up against a wall, though. And that one given away. Pass was just off, trying to get it to Chris Ostomo. Love the defending by El Paso. They stayed compact. No one got caught 1v1. And Navarez just sort of corralled Bodley onto his right foot. And then the error came. And now they have back possession. That's the ball out of bounds. The Grand Central Brew House, a two story brewery, tap room, and beer garden located in the heart of the Grand Central District. Traditional lagers, ales, poured directly from European style serving tanks resulting in fresher beer. Great place to go before or after the game. The Grand Central Brew House. Manuel Artiaga, second in goals for these rowdies. There's Akinyote right there. Sends it back to wait here in the 27th minute. Hilton winning it back. And here's Jordan Gordy. Crowd on hand once again here tonight. The Rowdies attendance has been exceptional so far here in 2024. Penny's having a blast. I mean, <laughs> they are everywhere, and the kids are loving it. Just another evening in our line. Got to get a picture anytime you come to the park. Yes. Not just a picture with Ryan Davis. I mean, a picture <laughs> with, with the Rowdy's mascot. Yeah. Lewis Hilton. Oh, beautiful pass. Rowdy's attacking. Now the 1-2, it's Perez, Perez shoots, ball deflected. 
Radis will get another chance on the ground, and Tampa Bay off a couple ricochets, unable to put it in the back of the net. Well, when you're in form in the last third of the field, opportunities get created. The one-time pass by Artiaga right here. Set up Perez beautifully. Uh, excellent save again by Waite. Another bite of the apple. Uh, look at the pass with this moment. So desperate to stay in the game, not go down a goal. You can see that desperation. Now he's fans. So the best opportunity that the Rowdies have had thus far. And how about this? Josh Perez heads over. First corner kick for the Rowdies. Blake Bonnelly. From distance, a little flick. Hilton will run it down, or at least try to as the ball heads over to that far side. Rowdies keep possession. Like the tempo right now for Tampa Bay. Bunched up this time still. Josh Perez right now all over the place for the Rowdies. Tampa Bay trying to get control of it inside that box. Asking for a foul that time. Lasso wins it. Force Lasso the screamer. Oh, Jamali Waits going to get a piece of it. But you got to love the effort of number three. Well, he stuck around because he was there for the corner kick just seconds before. And the lumberjack at the back. Gets a good look at goal. And boy, did he put his laces straight. There's Manjuma appealing for the handball. But guess who gobbles it up? Forrest Lasso, physicality, shoves Rivas, Rivas. And then look at this swerve. An excellent save again by Waits. Lewis Hilton now. And Perez sharing it in the corner. Hilton will try and put it in a great spot. Lasso is in the neighborhood, trying to get ahead on it. Grazes the head of Forrest and heads out of bounds. Gotta love Forrest Lasso and the effort that he brings to the pitch night after night. I mentioned him departing the route. He's coming back to the franchise. Uh, not as strong last year as his pre-Sweden adventure, but still really, really good when he wants to be. I think he's back at his very best. Positionally, he's back to where he's reading the game a lot quicker. And he's not caught out in no man's land. And physicality is still there. By the way, he can shoot the ball, as we can see. USL on CBS Sports and ESPN platforms. All season, but on CBS Networks, it continues in April. Mark your calendar. April 27th, the Rowdies take on New Mexico United, 7.30 Eastern on CBS Sports Network. Again, that's next week. The Rowdies on CBS Sports Network. Be sure and catch the Tampa Bay Rowdies here at LA. Bodily will center it. Another shot is on and wait, scrambling to his right to cover it just in time. And Artiaga got, he got a lot of it, but just couldn't get the power to tuck it down in the bottom corner. Great delivery by Bodily. Artiaga has to go back just a little bit to get it. And because he had to go backwards, couldn't get the power. Just a bit. So again, if you're a Tampa Bay Rowdies fan, CBS Sports Network a week from tonight. Rare occurrence for the Rowdies being on that network, Ryan, and our friends Mike Watts, Devin Kerr will likely be on the call of that contest. We'll certainly be watching if we're not here in the stands. Should be a great game. Rowdies have knocked on the door. And they're just about to crack it open here. Like the progress the Rowdies have made here in the last 10 minutes. Again, Tampa Bay right now dominating play and trying to get on the score sheet. Keep it alive for Bodily. Bodily will let it go. Tries to aim for that top shelf. Good idea. Just a little bit overcooked. Like the unrehearsed pass, the chip over the top for Artiaga. Who just threw his ball his body behind it to keep the ball in play he hooked it back into bodily's direction and right now 
in the last third of the field. Rowies are playing with pace, with confidence, and they're creating opportunities because of those two ingredients. So here's Wait now in his fifth season with El Paso. Radis will take care of this one in the center circle. And Lewis Hilton. Once again starts the build up. Bodily. Hilton will go. Also, when you watch this team compete, Ryan, remember they were just founded back in 2018. Still a relatively new franchise here in USL Championship. Tampa Bay right now taking it to him. Perez lost it though as he got inside the 18. And Rivas was able to recover for Los Locos. Oh. Trying to counter the other way. Look out. Farwell <laughs> slide it just the right time. That was beautiful from the Rowdy's keeper. Lightning quick off of his line, but the pass by Dylan just oozes class. It pierced the defense right into Moreno's stride. And was met by the red shield of far. We've got a good snippet of why Dylan has him as many assists as he does. Nevada is a shot. Distance all Jordan far put on guard. And Ryan, I love how you appreciate the beauty and the skill of the beautiful ball when it is placed on the ground exactly yeah. where it needs to be like Dylan did there. Absolutely. To put that ball in between the two defenders on the forward stride, not on his feet, but in front of him where he can run onto it, it was amazing. And Navarez, that strike again, great technique. Remember working with the great Tommy Smith. And he told me, Drew, it's not just what is happening right now, it's what is about to happen yes. a few seconds from now. The great ones can always sense it. Absolutely. And Tommy Smith, the bulge in the old onion bag is a famous phrase that he had. <laughs> That's when the ball goes in the back of the net. Now it's Doherty off the pass from Guillen. Scoreless here, 36th minute. Rowdies and Los Locos. Out of El Paso, but as once again backs it up, Lasso will run it down. Now it's Doherty. Just looking at El Paso's defensive shape, it looks so compact and disciplined at the moment. Doherty will take it for Tampa Bay. Service comes in. Skates just over that six-yard box. The Rallies did not have anybody in position. Because of their shape defensively, it forced Jordan Doherty to release the ball a lot quicker than the Rowdies would have wanted. And will pass a win back possession because of their discipline. Farah and Farah, they are Tampa Bay's personal injury lawyers. You can find them online at farahandfarah.com. Farah and Farah, proud sponsor of the Tampa Bay Rowdies. Rowdies were just about to attack right there, and this one is going to be slowed up. So El Paso's, they've absorbed their share of discipline here thus far in this first half. Alfaro, Navarez, and Cavillo were cautioned by the referee. So to Josh Perez for the Rowdies. As he drums. He also tries to thread the needle. Dolan Meyer. Sending it back to Wade. He gets it back. And now the Rowdies just kind of roaming. Once again, they are doing a great job dominating oh. possession, but little counterattacks like that, Tampa Bay, a bit susceptible to that. Here in this first half, there's Lasso again. Well, that's what the Rowdies don't mind, though. They're going to push high and leave space behind. 
So even if the play, is, the, pace, sorry, the play is broken up, you can quickly counter, like Murray, you know, try to release Dylan. Good recovery by Forrest Lasso, but Coach Nielsen's not going to mind that because he wants the Rowdies to shorten the space of the field and push uh, El Paso further backwards. Here's Nevadas. Bodily all over him. Oh, nice job by Blake Bodily. Possession back to Tampa Bay. Squeezed out quickly, though. Dallenmeyer coming up with it. Now Los Locos once again gets it into the Rowdy's half. We'll take the time here. I think if you are Los Locos, Ryan, if you can get into halftime, still with a scoreless draw, I think you're really satisfied. Absolutely, and they've had their opportunities as well. Jordan Farr has had to come up big on a couple of occasions. And I think defensively, despite the road, he's creating a couple of chances. They've looked good. Doherty again to Jennings. Cut Jennings. Trying to make magic happen as he does so often for Tampa Bay. Trying to get a second shot off, and it was 1v4 that time. Well, we're not going to critique Kyle Jennings too much, but you would like to see the little dink over the keeper when weight starts to slide. There is a window of opportunity for a forward just to chip it over his shoulder. Carl Jennings didn't see it, didn't use it. And good save by Wheat in the end. Put a lot of pressure on the, on the Rowdies forward. So now it's Dolan Meyer. To throw it in here for Los Locos. Good counter chances in this first half for the visiting side. Rowdy's have dominated possession and have had some pretty solid chances lately of their own. To be exact, like you said, Drew, 68% to 40% Rowdy's in possession in the opening 40 minutes. And corners, uh, three to one. Ball squeezed through, Jennings, once again. See that double team coming late for Cal Jennings. King Udi got there in a flash and made his body Large, so Carl Jennings couldn't get around him. Good ball by Doherty. That's the pluses of having a midfielder playing defense. He has that vision, that technical ability to release the ball to, to Jennings. Cannot control it. How about that? He's, he's still looking for the ball. But as quickly comes over to corral it. And the Rowdies now will start connecting dots here. Lewis Hilton. Pretty good defense in this first half by Los Locos. Has been able to get some penetration though. And now bodily. Milton back to him. And it's Guillen. Forty-third minute. Blake bodily. Here it comes. Little curler. No threat that time. Guillen though able to catch up with it. Guillen comes from Mexico. Rowdy's captain's armband. Huge ties to El Paso. Oh, yeah. All of his family usually comes out to our line. Marcel Stamo, far side now. Tampa Bay being patient here. Ball fluttering towards that six yard box. And now Hilton. Hilton. Rowdy's with Artiaga. Lewis trying to get it back. 
Now Slipko still cannot dig it out of there. Tampa Bay's never-ending possession continues. This has got to be frustrating if you're the visitors. I love the delivery by Manjuma, but I also love the defensive compactness again by El Paso. This is it's Manjuma getting it back. Oh, you saw Jordan Doherty going down there just inside that box. No call. There's just no space on top of the box to create anything for the Rowdies. The space is out wide. So Manjuma and Body will have to carry some of that weight in creating opportunities from the wings. Been pretty free flowing here in this first half. Do not expect to have a lot of extra time here. Perez again working in a tight space. Arteaga. Nobody home as he tried to get it forward. And now Nevada is sharing it. Now it's Doherty. For just joining us, Rowdy's goalkeeper Jordan Farr going down in the opening minute, but was able to shake it off. As it appeared, he took a kick towards the head. Sigh of relief for Rowdy's fans. Chrysostomo gets up off the turf. Phil Brino, a couple times, it looked like he may be entering the game this season, but has been sent back eventually. You've got to think number 15 is going to get an opportunity. Three minutes of extra time. Three minutes. And you hope that extra opportunity, Ryan, comes without an injury. You hope maybe there's a night where Farr just has the night off as the Rowdies trying to threaten once more. Could be as close as the Open Cup against Birmingham sure. on May 8th. So Bruno might get his opportunity to save them. It's a tight affair with Birmingham. I feel Bruno is more than capable of starting in the USL, whether it's championship or playing in the US Open Cup. Brian Clairhout's got to be excited. This team very much in this one. Bodily. A little grabbing, little pulling. Artiaga unable to shake free. Rowdy's now, the body's flying all over the pitch. Lasso comes up with a huge tackle once again, and Tampa Bay will get numbers forward. Artiaga trying to get it in position. Gets it back from Perez. Josh Perez will spread the wealth. Jordan Doherty, here it comes. Cross on the way. Ball knocked down. And eventually covered by weight. Well, Josh Perez is usually dropping behind to create something on top of the box when the cross comes in from jordan doherty josh perez is not there supporting artiaga and kyle jennings in the box i think jordan doherty has to take that into consideration when he is crossing the ball and not put it to the last post where josh perez is supposed to be hanging out if josh perez is dropping back to support the midfield he has to start crossing the ball towards the penalty spot where kyle jennings is rather than the last post. Dolenmeyer places at the feet of Navarez. Bodily comes up. They have gambled a little bit too soon here. And Los Locos again right side. They attack Calvillo. Tries to put it on frame, and there's Lasso once again. I'll tell you what, Lasso right now is like a heat-guided missile. Yes. So strong in the air. And took care of business, but you have to tip your hat to Navarez. He was one versus two. Pulled the ball back, let the momentum take the defense, and then slipped the ball through to Moreno. Actually, it's not Moreno, it's Cavillo. Justin Dillon. Javier Nevarez yeah, will do the honors here, be the end swinger. This could be the final play here of half number one.
Nevarez with the curler. Good head on it by Akinyote. It sails out though. And that is going to be the end of half number one. So Robbie Nielsen and the Rowdies will head to the locker room without a goal through the first 45 and change. Los Locos playing well. Tampa Bay making some progress though, especially late in the session. Scoreless at Al Lang Stadium. Halftime festivities coming up after this from downtown St. Pete. Chevy dealer. Get ready, get set, get checked. It's just that easy to sell your car with MorganBuysCars.com. First, visit MorganBuysCars.com and tell us a bit about your car. Next, receive an express cash offer online. Then, schedule an appointment at one of our 14 convenient locations to pick up your check. Plus, we'll beat anyone's offer on your vehicle or we'll give you $500. So, get ready, get set, and get checked. Online at MorganBuysCars.com. Welcome, everybody. It is time for the Visit Tampa Bay Halftime Show. Visit Tampa Bay, where treasure awaits. Scoreless after a first half of play on a gorgeous night here at Al Lang Stadium. Thrilled to have you watching Tampa Bay Rowdy Soccer on Tampa Bay's 44. I'm Drew Felios, everybody. Tampa Bay's 44, really a community, local, great sports station. And speaking of community, the Rowdy's always active in the community, recently paying a visit and affecting lives at Orlando Health Bayfront Hospital. We are so happy here at Orlando Health to be the official healthcare partner for the Tampa Bay Rowdies. Um, it's really exciting to get both organizations involved in the community um, here in St. Petersburg, and it's really nice to bring life to the cafeteria here at Orlando Health. We work with the athletic trainers, with the Rays and the Rowdies, to make sure that all of the players are taken care of on both teams, and it's really cool that we also get to have the players come here um, and do visits. We here at Orlando Health are really excited to be going into our fourth year of partnering with the Tampa Bay Rowdies, and we are super excited for what the future holds within the St. Petersburg community. How cool is that? Forrest Lasso, Phil Brino, Charlie Dennis, and company, the Rowdies, again, making great things happen in the community. No goals yet in this game, but lots to talk about when we come back. Talk to you about what is coming in the coming weeks for the Tampa Bay Rowdies and around the league and USL Championship. We'll be back. Feel good, Doug. When termites show up, so do we. Terminix it. if you know the way. Fight back with Tiger Balm's legendary herbal power. Trusted for over a hundred years, our proven blend of camphor, menthol, and essential oils tames pain with the strength and speed of the tiger so that you can rise above pain and get back to living. This is the way of the tiger. Jennings 
This is where he reeks. Jennings, 1v1. Great. Oh. When termites show up, so do we. Terminix it. Very different people. Very different medical conditions. Who all have one thing in common. They and their families chose Orlando Health for care, where our expert teams gave them one more thing in common, their lives back. Orlando Health, choose well. Our USL Championship Team of the Week. These are the stars of the past week in USL Championship. And how about a couple Tampa Bay Rowdies making that group Blake bodily on that left side and Cal Jennings who scored his third and fourth goal in Miami a tremendous job by the two rowdies and congratulations to the USL championship team of the week welcome back everybody it is halftime here still scoreless Tampa Bay rowdies and El Paso locomotive I'm Drew Felios all right here in USL championship we are getting ready for the U.S. Open Cup. And in fact, it's a cup that right now is in motion, but it is down to 32 teams. So 16 matchups moving forward to crown the champion in American soccer. Incredible games coming up. May 7th is the first date. You got to mark your calendar. Pittsburgh Riverhounds battle FC Tulsa. Atlanta United, of course, the MLS flavor involved. They'll take on Charlotte Independence and in USL League One. Houston Dynamo, Detroit City, Dallas, Memphis, and the other games to look forward to. Sac Republic and Monterey Bay, the late one on that Tuesday. The Rowdies will take the pitch on May 8th. Tampa Bay will host the Birmingham Legion. That's a 7 o'clock game. Other games on that night, Union Omaha, the Midwest loves that team. Sporting Kansas City, that'll be an interesting matchup. Las Vegas Lights involved against LAFC. That should be fun. Seattle Sounders and Loose City late in that matchup. So lots to look forward to with U.S. Open Cup. And guess what? We mentioned USL League One. We are getting ready for the Jägermeister Cup. Talk about big time competition coming your way. We have got it in the Jaegermeister Cup. Always like to follow South Georgia Tormenta FC. That's seven o'clock game on Saturday, April 27th. And keep in mind, Charlotte Independence, they're in that 7.30 game on that night. All the rest of the games coming your way, April 27th and 28th, late this month, the USL Jaeger Meister Cup featuring USL League One. Could we have a better night here in downtown St. Pete? I don't think so. Our crew doing a great job. We're thrilled you're with us. More rowdy soccer. We'll get ready for hack number two after this. For somebody that hasn't been through this kind of situation before, it's kind of scary. You're hurt, your car's destroyed, the house is gonna impact my job, my income, my future. And Fair Ferry made sure that uh, I understood what was gonna happen step by step and it took care of me. It was my first car accident. Being so young, I was clueless and I didn't know who to reach out to and what to do. The people at Fair and Farrah, they were able to navigate me through every step of the way. They showed that they cared and I felt respected. What happens when a company puts health solutions at the center of everything it does? At Florida Blue, Tai Chi happens. Nurse visits happen. This happens. A nutrition class happens. Answers to your health insurance questions happen. And a healthier you happens. So come by your local Florida Blue Center and experience health solutions at the center.
my name is Riley and I'll be taking care of you today. Welcome back to more of our Visit Tampa Bay Halftime Show. Visit Tampa Bay, where treasure awaits. Back in the booth now alongside Ryan Davis. I'm Drew Felios getting you ready for the second half. The Rowdies had some positive moments in that first half run, but still unable to hit the back of the net. Well, they're starting to get into form. The speed of play in the last third of the field is what counts. The passing, the precision, the runs, everybody is in sync. And so the Rowdies are creating some chances. Great saves by weight to keep the score at nil-nil. As for El Paso, though, defensively, they're staying compact, keeping it simple offensively, going out wide, coming back in, mm -hmm. and they're creating some moments of their own, both far and weight. Both had to make some great saves in the first half. Let's take a look at some of those highlights from half number one. Now he's got a bit of a scare in the opening minute. Their goalkeeper going down momentarily, Jordan Farr. He was able to shake that off, and then Cal Jennings in Tampa Bay kicking into overdrive. Well, great ball by Kyle Jennings. We talked about him being a hybrid type of player. And creating a chance for Artiaga. Now, Navarez's cross, and this is when Farr gets there, but he's a little bit gin. He went at it sort of gingerly after the contact in the opening first five minutes. As that area of uncertainty, always a problem for the goalkeeper. Then, this time, it was Stofer. The overlapping left wing back crossing, and Moreno can't get the power behind it. Forrest Lasso into Perez, little dink over the top. Artiago brings it down and wait again, brave, closing down the angle and keeping his squad nil nil. Artiago on a platter to Perez. He took a touch. Wait makes himself large again. And Cristosimo just couldn't capitalize. Desperate defending by El Paso. They so need a point at least here on the road, and their players know it. Taking a look at the first half. Starts 60% to 40% rowdies. It is penetrative because they got nine shots out of the 60%. So to the corners, three to one. However, El Paso being stubborn and also having having their own moments with long ball counters and sort of linking up between Dylan and Moreno to create chances on their own. Well, more in the second half, Drew. So Cal Jennings and the rowdies back on the pitch. Jennings can change any game. In the blink of an eye, Tampa Bay now will move from right to left. Rather, that's from left to right. <laughs> As Jordan Farr gets set in goal for Tampa Bay. Eric Calvillo will be on top of it here to start. Pretty solid first half job of officiating by Alex Beeler and his crew. And let's go. Second half underway. Aaron Guillen. And now Lewis Hilton for Blake Bodily working on that far side. Perez really played well for the Rowdies, throwing his body all over the pitch. Able to start a lot of possessions, be able to change possession, get it back to the home side. Javier Nevadas sitting on a yellow here to start half number two. So is Tony Alfado. They'll have to play really carefully the rest of the way. Forrest Lasso outstanding for the Rowdies in the first half. It's bodily ball again given up. A little shot right there. You saw Nevadez go to the ground quickly. And now a very late whistle. Alex Beeler comes in. And we're going to have a free kick coming up here for Los Locos. Let's watch this one more time. You can see the commitment. And boy, Bodley got a lot of the ball, but a lot of the players as well. It's a physical play, you can understand. 
Referee Bila just trying to keep the game tight. This is Rivas. All put on frame. Jordan Farr comes to punch it out. And flick it forward. And Arteaga will have it with some open space here for Tampa Bay. Remember, a lot of the most important minutes in a contest can happen right before the half and right as you come out of the locker room. Well said, Drew. Last game against Miami, despite being up considerable amount of goals, the Rowdies did not get back their rhythm in that opening 15 minutes in the second half against Miami. Coach Nielsen talked about that in the pregame discussion we had with him. He wants the Rowdies to be on it. When they come out of the dressing room, he wants them to be alive, wants them to be in the mood, as they would say, as soon as the second half whistle blows. So Riley's will have possession here. Brian Claire Hout this be a huge victory if this club can somehow Find out how to leave here with three points. And they're in tremendous position. But the Rowdies have been an outstanding second half team thus far this season. And today with nine points coming in, Los Locos with just one. Be directed here by Lucas Stauffer. Yeah, this will be a Rowdy's corner kick is Rob Smob. Some of the fans still finding their seats once again here to start half number two. Jamali Wade has been big in some big moments in this game. This could be another one coming up here as the crowd comes alive. Shuffled off and now open space to work with. Headed up. A little bit of chaos inside that box. Comes back out here to Perez. Perez trying to target Lasso. Here's the shot. Oh, great idea for Tampa Bay. Chris Sostomo had a split second there to do some major damage. Well, Lasso already has an assist this year. Almost got number two. Hanging out at the last post. Great delivery by Perez. Here's his second attempt. Perez gets it back and puts it right back to the last post where Lasso goes to work on a platter for Crossostomo and misses the target. What an opportunity for the Rowdies. Guys will pull it back here, Jordan Doherty, to throw it in. So we thought that's Eddie Munjama, recently acquired by Tampa Bay. Line drive delivered this time bodily, trying to collect around that midfield line. He'll send it back, and the Rowdies will reset. Drew Felios, Ryan Davis, and the Tampa Bay Rowdies. Television crew bringing you this one from Al Lang Stadium, ESPN Plus, and Tampa Bay's 44, the home for Rowdy Soccer all year long. Well, I think the rhythm of the game has certainly come to, to the forefront. I think El Paso definitely are willing to sit in that, not low block, but that mid block and wait for the Rowdies to come on to them. They're not pressing high, understanding how the Rowdies play in Al Lang Stadium. But they want to dominate the ball and his passer respecting that sitting in that mid block and just waiting for their time to counter attack if they can if they can't they just get compact frustrate the roadies make them go left to right and try to keep this score nil nil as long as they could and maybe create something towards the end bodily now with the throw in on that far side artiaga playing with his back to the goal and we'll have a foul here. Tampa Bay is going to get it in a pretty good spot. The Rowdies will place it down right there at the feet of Alex Baylor. You can watch 
the USL Championship on CBS Sports and ESPN platforms all season. Expert analysis every day on the CBS Sports Galazzo Network and ESPN Plus. Go to uslchampionship.com for the complete USL TV listings. Well, when um, El Paso tried to play the ball out to the back, they hit the referee. And when that happens, the ball must go back to the last team and had possession. Mm. So El Paso got the ball back. Riley's well, sensing a little confusion here. There's the press. Oh, brilliant. Nice, nice play this time by Stauffer. Here comes Los Locos. A little bit of danger here. Stauffer again coming back to it. <laughs> Stauffer kind of mixing it up with Aaron Guillen. <laughs> well, you got to love Stauffer. He's not the most athletic looking player on the field. You probably wouldn't pick him first no. in a pickup game, Ryan, no. but he never gives up, and his teammates love him. He covers every blade of grass from byline to byline on this field. Trying to get it to Jennings. Stopper again regroups here. Lasso, nicely done. Roddy's trying to turn right around that center circle. It's Perez. Hilton comes over. He is the conductor of this Rowdy's offense. And Juma. Jennings. Oh, high kick that time. Hilton involved. It's too hard far away. Wiley veteran. Let's do Hilton. Talk about another veteran. Far with that overhead kick. A little closer comfort to the rest of the players around him. Sostomo with Hilton. Jordan Farr distributing here and look at some of this action. Get really physical. Some of these midfield exchanges. Lewis Hilton caught up that time. And another player goes down on the far side of the field. And that is Josh Perez. Well, we have one team that wants to continue its form at home, get the points that it, it, it needs, that it wants to compete in the East. And then you have another team, El Paso. Here we are. And you can see the physicality and the commitment from each of these players. Hence the reason they're getting a little bit chippy. That was, looks like, was it Rose? And then you have El Paso, who's fighting for its very life. We only have one point in this season. And they understand that getting a point in our land could sort of turn their season around confidence wise. Rose just being that scrappy player in the middle of the park. Liam Rose, the Australian, mixing it up with the Rowdies here. And now in the 57th, sixth minute, Tampa Bay once again trying to make something happen. A little bit of a quiet start to this second half. Nevarez making Rowdy's miss and Tampa Bay finally come up, comes up with it. Again, another mix up here, and they are battling every single possession. You gotta give the visiting side credit here. Oh, a shot though, right in front of the official, and that is certainly gonna be a foul. That was looked like near the back of the head that time as Bodily was trying to gain possession. Well, so far they've been 10 minutes of the second half. Just El Paso and the Rowdies in the middle of the park. Just going at it, hammer and nail. Here it is again. And Vares this time going behind Chrysostomo. Forrest Lasso just lays into Joaquin Rivas. Rowdy's continued possession, and right now I've complimented Alex Peeler, but I think he's got to get control of this match right now because somebody is going to get hurt. And ooze and ahs from the crowd tell it all. And Alvarez and Faro, they're all surrounding the referee. Here's that ball again. And 
as he tries to hear him, he ran into a truck with lights on a horn. Bug beat windshield. <laughs> Correct. Correct. I mean, the fact that Forrest Lasso did get the ball, it's kind of hard for the referee to say that it was a foul. He got the ball first and he just continued on with his momentum. He had every intention of going through Rivas, but the fact that he got the ball first allowed him to do that. Quick hydration break for the Rowdies here. And a moment for us to tell you about Sirius XM FC 157, North America's only 24 7 source for engaging soccer talk. That includes USL All Access, Tuesdays at 7 Eastern. Plus, hear all live matches from the USL, MLS, Premier League, and more. All on Sirius XM FC's 157 and the new Sirius XM app. Forrest Lasso, you think he's got some soccer left in him? This is. <laughs> The enforcer right here going to work and I think that's a response towards the last play when bodily was hit near the head trying to gain possession for saying hey that's my guy you're not going to come into our pitch and do that to our players continually that was sending a message absolutely he's one of the core players of this Rowdies group and he plays the center back position so he's going to enforce things in the middle of the park and defensively so Forrest Lasso is certainly sending a message, sending a message to the top of the top of the box as well, that he can tackle, and if they want a safety, he's more than willing to oblige. Sometimes that physicality is simply a part of the game. You don't want to see dirty play, but Correct. sometimes in the middle of the park, it when, is a physical game. Yeah, yes, absolutely, absolutely. Once you get the ball first and you're playing the ball, it allows other windows to open up. Mm -hmm. in regards to physicality. If you're not going to play the ball, that's a whole different discussion. Sometimes that head's got to be on a swivel just a bit. You've got to be really decisive Correct. when it is at your feet, never knowing who is lurking. Coach Nielsen up off the bench here for the Rowdies, knowing this is a critical upcoming 10 minutes here. A couple of Rowdies set to check into the game for the first time. So a team that is winless on the season right now in the 60th minute all tied up with the home side and for the Rowdies Pacific Neon Gabiri going to check in also Damian Rivera guy Ryan that I know you want to see a lot more of both of these players Rivera and Neon Gabiri both of them shifty quick they are high octane in the last city the field Interesting to see when Bodily comes off. Yangaberry is going to replace Perez. Carl Jennings is going to go to center forward. And Rivera to the left side. Looks like the Rowdies are going to go to a 4 4 2. When Juma at right back, Doherty and Lasso at center back, Aaron Gian at left back. In the midfield, Yangaberry right midfield. Lewis Hilton, Christostomo in the center. Out left Rivera, and then the top two will be Cal Jennings and Artiago. So it's gone to a 4 4 2 for the Rowdies. Rowdies trying to regain possession here. And again, a little tic tac that time. Both teams chirping just a bit at each other after the physical play by Forrest Lasso. Noah Dolan Meyer will place it down here for Los Locos. Crowd has been a little bit quiet tonight. I think when that first goal comes, things will likely change. Guillen now doing a little chirping. Right. Talk about Ty Steel Paso. Aaron Guillen knows exactly what time it is. And the current climate of the game. Navarez on loan from FC Juarez from Liga MX in Mexico. Well, you can relax boldly in Tampa Bay, claiming your next adventure at visittampabay.com. That's visittampabay.com. All the great sites and places to visit in this beautiful Tampa Bay area. Just an amazing place. One of the best in the country. 
Just saw right there, Alex Beeler, the head referee, Ryan, just kind of had a little discussion with Aaron Guillen being the, the team captain, I think, saying, hey, please settle your team down. We want a good, clean game the rest of the way. Absolutely. I think that's a heads up play by, by Alex Beeler. Go to the captain, remind him. And Beeler's doing a good job too, opening his mouth and reminding players after the play is done. Wants to keep everyone on the pitch. He had to give out a couple of cards in the first half. Give out three to El Paso. One to the Rowdies. Over the top, Tampa Bay. Trying to get it to Jennings. Picked up by Waite. Long outlet. He's thrown to Stoffer. Crowd wanted it. Out of bounds. Thought he was past that touch line, but able to keep it in. And the Rowdies win it back. Milton now going to work. Tampa Bay trying to get numbers forward. Here we go. Rowdies with the Ankabiri. Fresh legs off the bench. Top of the box now. Rowdies. There was a crease there momentarily. Artiaga tried to send a missile through it. I love the decision by Nyangaberry. He played the ball behind the defenders. Not behind. Well, he allowed the traffic to push ahead. And then the ones who were arriving late on top of the box, that's where he delivered the pass. They were all queuing up for the cross. Instead, he played it across on the ground on top of the 18-yard box. Look out. Jordan Farr out of position. And what just happened? One of the most amazing goals we've ever seen here at Al Lang. Rowdy's players looking at head referee Alex Beeler. And Farr caught in no man's land. And Los Locos has broken the ice here at Al Lang. Well, they needed something special, and they delivered Dolan Mayer with an absolute blinder. Must be 75 yards. Deep in his own half. There's the half line. Let's say 60 yards. And Jordan Farr left wanting. Crowd is absolutely stunned here in the 65th minute. Is you're Jordan Farr. I'm going to put my money on that being goal of the week for oh USL coming up. That was apt. I've never seen that. That's incredible. Monjoma in Tampa Bay trying to bounce back. Well, how do you bounce back from something like that? This could be something like for El Paso. Now they have confidence. Moreno gets it forward here. It's Dylan. Jordan Doherty. Aaron Guillen sending it forward. Aaron Guillen has to be more patient than that. Can't just be giving the ball away sloppily now. So business will certainly pick up here for the Rowdies. You can see playing with a little bit more life, but so is Los Locos right now. Here's a curler, and Farr put on guard once more. Jordan Farr elevating that time to get a fingertip on it. Well, you do ever want to doubt his reflexes or his shot-stopping ability, Jordan Farr. Amazing save. Look at Dylan. Look up. Pick out his corner, and he went for it. Great technique with the shot and the save. Paso seeing a little bit of blood in the water here, Drew. Anytime there's a goal like that that goes down like the one we just saw, hey, why not make it a two for one? Now it's Rivas, the end swinger. Here it comes. And there's Farr trying to make up for what just happened. Coming out with possession here, Tampa Bay. Once again, trying to get their weapons on the wings organized. This is Younger Berry. Jennings curling around. Cal Jennings and the Rowdies. A new sense of purpose here. A little flick. Going to get Artiaga in some space. See Doherty. And looks like a little mix up here. Armando Marino. We haven't called number 10's name a lot tonight. Right now he is livid. But they haven't been up on many occasions this season in Paso. Now they have they are up. They have confidence. They have momentum at their backs. 
Moreno, they've been scratching and scraping all second half to try and get in favour, to get this momentum. But they get a brilliant goal, one of the greatest goals they'll see this season. Well done, Rowdies. In position here, just outside that six-yard box. The group in front of Ralph's mob, gasping that time. Tampa Bay knocking on the door. And if you are Los Locos, all of a sudden, a season that was going nowhere has some renewed purpose here in the next 23 minutes. Mentioned how they have tried to stall just a bit here tonight on several occasions and this is going to make this Rowdy's crowd a little bit grumpy. Well, I think it's dull on there and after you score a goal like that why not take a seat. Unbelievable. Now locomotive uh, getting some water. There's the back here to Rivera. Rivera coming in. Great defending between Akinyori. Looks like the hands were all over the ball for Navarez. Of course, we don't have VAR. So there isn't a second look, but certainly looked interesting from here. So the challenge for the Rowdies, again, staying focused on the task at hand but how could you it's got to shake you just a little bit following a goal unlike anything we have ever seen I think in six and seven years of calling <laughs> Rowdy soccer I mean that was incredible an huh? absolute blast that's the equivalent of a Hail Mary in football like from the opposing 30 yard line yes I mean, that was just wild a hole in one in golf yes one of those yeah I mean Jordan Farr has to take some responsibility Yes, you want to play a high line, but you have to be aware when the ball is given away to backtrack and get in position so you don't find yourself in an awkward position. Lasso keeps it in front of him. And now Los Locos here. Try and keep possession with Nevadas. Good giveaway though, Lewis Hilton and Tampa Bay surging forward. Brilliantly done. Big slide right there. We play on. Sends out of bounds. It'll belong to Tampa Bay. Younger Berry trying to stay upright. Rowdy's come get it with Hilton. Short lived though at the feet of Liam Rose. He goes for the long ball. Those quick counters have been deadly. Justin Dillon now trying to do something with it. Dillon will take the shot and he'll sail right into the Rowdy scoreboard. And there was a moment when Jordan Doherty misread the roll of the ball and he sort of pulled up, allowed Dillon to run onto it. The shot was not on target, but these two teams at the moment is such a pivotal stage of the game. But El Paso had the momentum. It's now switching back again to the Rowdies. But the fact that El Paso are up a goal, they're going to defend for their life. Jennings waiting at the doorstep. This is Rivera. Extremely talented. Great 1v1 ability. El Paso packing it in. And Lasso, that ball off his foot. No one home, out of bounds. And back to the visiting side. Well, Forrest Lasso, he created a golden chance for Christos Tomo. Headed the ball back down into the path. In just outside the six-yard box, Christos Tomo couldn't finish. And I would see the centre-back has had a great game tonight for the Rowdies. El Paso can't keep it for long. Tampa Bay comes away with it. Christos Tomo forward there's Rivera Rowdy's flying that time out of bounds and the ball will belong to the Rowdies well, there's Rivera the substitute but Dolan there the guy who just scored a 70 yard rocket just give, putting everything on the line on that 1v1 
Wants to mow once more, trying to shake free. Again, a little miscommunication there with Rivera. Trying to get the youngster more minutes, more opportunities here in Tampa Bay. And Juma. Young Gaberry battling. Well, they do not want him to get loose. So tough, though. Not sure what the call is going to be here from Beeler. Because clearly he is not the initiator. Eric Calvillo getting physical. Well, Rowdy's fans, mark your calendars. May 4th, your team takes on Memphis 901 FC. Join us for the ultimate watch party at Colony Grill, located at 670 Central Avenue, where your Rowdy's gear for 25% off pizzas and a chance to win prizes. Colony Grill, it's the pizza for getting rowdy. Rowdy's fans uniting here, trying to spark their club. Trying to come back and level this one at one. And Joma will hold things up. Tampa Bay sending one in. The header is golden. A spectacular header for the Rowdies as Manuel Artiaga bags his fourth of the year. Well, something out of nothing. Chrysostomo turns, he had some room, and he picks out Artiaga the last post. Here's Chrysostomo, he picks it up, looks inside, looking, looking, sees Artiaga, puts it there, and he gets right in front of Alfaro. Must be said, Alfaro had to pick him up, didn't find him. And Artiago gets right in front of him and gets the header on target. And that's the way you respond. Something unrehearsed. It was unpredictable. Yes, it was a hit and hope sort of cross, but Artiago showing that sharpness to get in front of his defender and nod it in. So two first year rallies, Chrysostomo and Artiago coming through for Tampa Bay and you're right Ryan moments like that it's not always scripted it's got to be just yes. a moment of brilliance and yes. we just saw it right there that's right you can follow your system you can go from side to side as much as you want but that's easy to defend you have to become unpredictable in those spaces line change now coming up for El Paso Calvillo heads off it's got to be deflating if you're Los Locos knowing you just had an opportunity to shock the word world and now that's in jeopardy as the Rowdies have erased your lead. We'll say though coming out of the locker room Tampa Bay did look sluggish. They just did not look like everybody was on point in that first 10 minutes and they paid for it. They have since made up for it, courtesy of Chrysostomo and Artiaga. And they did so against Miami as well a week ago. And the coach did was wary of it. And the players again came out flat in those first 15 minutes of the second half. Hilton, well done. Quick one, two. Hmm, Jennings was close. Tell you what, I love the game plan from Los Locos. Squeezing either Jennings or whoever is in front, not letting that real one two touch quick counter kill him. Correct. All these services is going to have to come out wide, which Christosimo he took advantage of. And Youngerberry over here on his right side, he's going to have his opportunities in the last 15 minutes to create some chances. So, final 15 minutes of regulation. Brian, if you're Tampa Bay, just continue to do what you do. This is your home pitch. You know your favorite to win, and you got the most electric score in Jennings. Number 21, his weight nearly let that one slip by. The Rowdies right now look like they're running at another speed. One of the most electric forwards in USL. I'm glad you said that. 50 career goals and a goal every 126 minutes. That's what Kyle Jennings has done. He is proving himself to be unstoppable.
Ian will chase it down. Now it's Munjama. Rowdy's fans again into it. They've come alive here in the second half. Sparking the team to tie it. And now the green and gold hoping to take their first lead. Lasso distributing. Far side now. Tampa Bay calmly. Making sure the attack is organized as it is tapped out. And the Raddies will throw it in. Another substitution, and we're about to welcome on Charlie Dennis, who has recently come back to the Rowdies, active once again. Lewis Hilton, a quality night for him. And Dennis, he is a trend setter. Second year Rowdy, 11 goals a year ago. Chris Sostomo is going to drop into that Lewis Hilton position and be the orchestrator. Lasso comes up, again just breaks up. A run for Los Locos. Tampa Bay playing with renewed confidence here. It's Dennis. Right footed to Nyanga Berry. Berry will switch it back here. He's got a lane. We'll let it go. And that was really, really short as it sails into the stands. Rowdy's corner on the way. Would you have liked an extra pass in that situation there, right? No, I just think the technique let him down. And so many players raised their head up too soon. And sort of squander that excellent space on top of the box. Dennis is in swing a little bit long that time. It's a position like that you just hope the Rowdies could get a little bit more out of with momentum on their side. It's his sort of possession that gives a coach an ulcer. We sing a corner kick in this part of the game. And Charlie Dennis just came onto the pitch. It was his second touch of the ball. Jennings, hang on to your seat. Oh, is he exciting? Jennings with the left foot nearly tucked one in. The confidence, the control, the technical ability to run at defenders. Tries to flick it on to Rivera, gets a second chance, very lucky bounce. But then the confidence to take players off, Akinyode, left in the dust. And you would bet your house that he'd have kept that ball on target, Drew. Oh, is he slippery, Cal Jennings. So Forrest Lasso goes down, he's pounding the turf. And he gets up slowly. And a little bit shaken up, a little bit of a limp to him, number three, Forrest Lasso. It's one of those situations where the, the forwards cleats probably step on your toe. And you know when you feel that pain, and it's just like a shock in your body. I'm feeling it. You're yes. just describing it. Yep. When it gets mashed. Mashed toes is not a good thing. Especially when a cleat is what treads on it. Rowdy's another chance getting to it quickly. You see Jeremy Grick Garay in there. Tampa Bay, the steal. Look out. Here comes the youngster. It's Rivera. Rivera! Shot on the ground, deflected out. Rowdies will keep possession here. Once again, scrambling, fighting. Fighting through a hold there. And another whistle that was a bit late. The Rowdies will still take it. Alex Bueller makes the call. Free kick, Tampa Bay on the way. But when you have Kyle Jennings running at defenders, then you have Rivera, the youngster who's on loan from New England, taking players on. I mean, the roadies are really hard to stay in front of with skill, skillful players who can create space for other players like that. Robbie Nielsen, he's learned so much about this league, USL Championship. How to be a situational coach in this league. The young talent at his fingertips. Pacific Nyongabiri. by and now it's Dennis Charlie Dennis with a screamer 
really close, just a few inches to the right side of the goal. But he certainly made up for the poor corner kick. Excellent technique on the free kick. He had younger very free as a bird on the right hand side, but went for goal. And it was just about a yard off. So one one the score, eighty third minute. And we want to tell you about another one of our proud sponsors we're thrilled to have on board this year. Hooters, the original wing joint. No better wings. I don't care where you go, what sports bar, you get them breaded, get them a little bit hot, get them a little bit, uh, you know, nice and wet, that extra spice in them with some blue cheese, Ryan. Great stuff. The curly fries as well. That and a UFC fight or a boxing match on yep. Yep. and some beers. Nothing like it. Some folks like them non breaded. You know, the, the naked style, I, I don't like them that way. I like the bread in them. Is it considered a wing if it's not breaded? I though? know, <laughs> man. You like it. You sort of crossed the line there. Nice and juicy. Good stuff. Here we go. Ooh, we're going to have another yellow card here. And they are going to get Eddie Munjoma that time. Munjoma doesn't like it. Martiaga unhappy as well. Nielsen doing his best coaching job late in this game. So Tony Alfaro and Coach Nielsen again up for most of this contest. Another big chapter in his team's growth happening right here, right now. Jennings taken down from behind. Call the foul and play it four. You mentioned Cal Jennings and how he kind of looks like Liam Neeson. You know, I saw earlier this week Liam Neeson will be a part of the the reboot of Naked Gun. And as the ball put in front, Tampa Bay trying to square it up here. Top of the box. Here's another shot and wait, able to cover it. Don't get everybody all excited and hyped up. Through. I have to What's throw that in. I know it comes at a weird time here in the 85th minute. There's always time for the naked gun. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Frank Drebin, probably my best Legendary. series of Legendary. all time classic yep. stuff right there. One of the actors, O.J. Simpson, acted in um, yeah. Naked Gun, passed this week or last week. Yep. Here's Dennis. Beery the spin cycle that time Dennis operating just in front of that touch line Jordan Doherty Little time and space to work with you see how packed in that Los Locos defenses I mean they are absolutely crammed back right now come up just a bit now he's trying to get a few touches in the middle of that defense Drew, let's talk about goals. These things you do not see in football very often. Dolan Mayer delivered an absolute beauty. Gets the ball behind his own half. Look at this thing. And it lands beautifully on the goal line. That is spectacular. Jordan Farr eats your heart out. And then Christosimo, where's the space? On the sides. Christosimo drifts outside, picks his pocket, and finds Artiaga. A well-crafted goal for the second one. Yeah, total contrast in goals we've seen tonight. But we've seen two beauties, haven't we? Absolutely. Substitution. Kalua in for Moreno. Dennis making it happen with the right foot. There's the header. Oh, a great save by Wade. Oh, Hartiaga nearly had the brace and the go-ahead goal. Well, Jamali Wade had the save of the year in 2023. How about this for 2024? The header low down to the right and he cups it. Doesn't push it out. Wow.
Who wants it more here? 87th minute. Los Locos switching the point of attack. Look out! Ball was shot hard by Lucas Stoffer. No man out of Kentucky has shown a little bit of moxie tonight on the road here in Tampa Bay. Well, he could play either left wing back or right, so he switched to the right hand side. They picked him out. Great effort, good shot, and Jordan Farr, shot stopping abilities, 10 out of 10. Jordan Farr came in with 11 saves. Corner kick now for the visiting side. El Paso knocking on the door here. Far able to douse the flame. Outlet pass. Line drive thrown afar here for Rivera. Tampa Bay will have it right in front of that midfield line. 1 1 the score. Drew Felios, Ryan Davis, and our Rowdy's crew bringing it to you from downtown St. Pete on Tampa Bay's 44. Near side now, Nyangabiri. He'll put it in front. Oh, Jennings goes down. Looked like contact. Don't think we're going to get a whistle. Unfortunate. Very, very hard to call that without a VAR. A second look. The counter is in effect the other way. Nyangabiri able to take control of it. The Rowdies will have to build once again. Still plenty of time to work with here at home. The perfect goal in the making was happening. Looked like perhaps a shove in the back. Interesting to see the replay when it, it is available, if it is. The cross was impeccable by Nyangaberry. He put the pressure on the defenders in that corridor of uncertainty. Dennis. Ball taken up now by Nick Hines. More grabbing and tugging. Nyangaberry will keep on rolling. Rowdy's trying to gain possession again. Some very tight spaces here. That defense compact. Munjoma will touch. And now it's Chrysostomo. Munjoma trying to operate against that wall of purple. Near side. Youngaberry 1v1. Not a lot of real estate to work with. Offensively now, 90th minute here, still tied at one. Oh, now a player will sit down. Crowd is going to be unhappy once again. El Paso, that locomotive starting to run out of gas here late on the road. Always when you come down to this climate, although you know it's hot in Texas, still sometimes a different type of humidity and cramping can be an issue early in the season. I think this is Weevil Hines who came on as a sub, is it? Coach Nielsen not happy right now. But you would be correct, Ryan, as Stoffer gets a quick drink. But I tell you what, full credit to Il Paso Locomotive. They've come in here and they've dug in, defended, compact, disciplined. The Rowdies had a couple of chances. They did not convert. I mean, fantastic save some weight to keep them in the game. And then goal of the year, basically, to go up 1-0. Aaron Guillen, I think, making his case there. So we are now in extra time here. Guillen making his case. Hey, you cannot stop a run. Nielsen also pleading with the crew right now. Evil Hines, the former Jamaica U20. Punching his palm, almost like he's injured. We'll find out if he can come back onto the pitch. So lots of extra time here. And crowd excited to see it because we've had a lot of time that has been wasted here in the second half. You know, this was sort of building for El Paso. Even though they've had five losses out of six, they've all by just been one goal drew. All of the games have been tight. Charlie Dennis heads over to the corner. We have seen what his left foot can do. He can be so on point. And the Rowdies hope once again that time is now. 
Ball's got some curl. Lasso running in. It's sent out quickly and it'll be chased down by Tampa Bay. So it's Christostomo now sizing things up. Bodies colliding everywhere. Lasso gets a piece. Couple of headers. Nothing doing for the Rabbits. Tiago went down again. He's asking for an infringement. And he's still barking. This man has had another incredible game. Shot stopping at its best. Came out brave at some of the forwards' feet in the first half and the second half. Jordan Farr as well had some great saves. Of course, um, had some blushes for that goal from Dollar Mayor. chances in the Rowdies orchestrate here. Big question. Jama now sending it forward and it's Chris Ostomo working out of center circle. Jeremy Dennis will settle things. Jordan Doherty, that hundredth appearance tonight. He wants it to be one where the Rowdies come away with three as that crowd comes alive once again. Neongaberry Working that right side, able to get an edge. Sends it right into traffic. Ball is sent up in the air. But you can see El Paso slow to get to it. The Rowdies winning those 50 50 balls here late. Defender goes down. Dennis keeps on trucking. And another corner on the way. Excellent defending by Peula. Got beaten on the first one, recovered. Gave up the corner, but that's the El Paso sort of attitude tonight. Dennis again trying to place it in the sweet spot. Oh, sail into the seats. It's been a physical affair here tonight. Tampa Bay and El Paso just competing for the third time against each other. El Paso's never beaten the Rowdies. <laughs> Someone's going to have to tell mom she has to give back the ball, though. <laughs> this is not baseball. And El Paso's gotten a, a draw and a loss the last couple of seasons against the Rowdies. So but to only, come out of here with, with yeah. one point would be huge. And only all the losses, like I said before, only one goal decided those losses this season. So they've been in, in those games right till the end. Despite it not going in their favor five times out of six. Gonzalo Palua. So Gonzalo to throw it in. The Uruguayan, just 20 years old. It's a very, very young. Locomotive team. Young Gaberi again trying to boss that right side. He attracts so much attention. Just fearless, excellent engine. You can run past players, just dropping the shoulder and going. Now he's trying to turn and go. Ball was lost though in the midfield. And now there is Stoffer once again. The Rowdies actually want. Younger Barry to play further up the pitch than one of those number 10 positions. But because they are so have so many players there, he has to play that right midfield position. So now Miles Lyons will get the call off the bench. So Ryan Clairhout is clearing that bench. Well, when you've defended for long periods of time, it's so tiring. Someone like Stufa, who has covered every blade of grass. You can understand he needs some fresh legs on the wings. Lions, a 21 year old out of Tucson, Arizona. Ninety-seventh minute. Now you can sense El Paso just trying to sort of hang on here. Clearly they know leaving with be this scorecard is like a victory. To the corner flag. A free kick for the Rowdies. 
So let's see how many chances here the Rowdies have. They've not been able to muster much in extra time. Still time for more, though. So hang on. Mojama. Sostomo, instrumental in the attack tonight with Dorothy and Lasso. This is Rivera. Rivera, left footed, on the ground, tried to find a little space. And this should be a rowdy throw. It's going to be a long throw. Let's see if Eric Yen is willing to get this one in the 18 yard, 18 -yard box. No, he's not. Here comes that defense. Going to be aggressive here late. He's able to keep possession here and play on. Doherty now will have it. Younger Barry. A quick first step. And able to juke the defender, but nicely done out of bounds. And another corner kick. Could a win possibly come here off the set piece? Well, the last two occasions have gone to Forrest. Last saw at the last post. Let's see if they switch things up and have someone dart to the first post. Dennis again. Ball knocked around inside the box. Los Locos able to come out of there with it. There's Tume, Marshall Bain, Kyle Jennings. Jordan Farr. Is there one more chance left for Tampa Bay here? Last sequence. Chrysostomo. Charlie Dennis. Dennis, service. Jennings in the neighborhood. Oh, just to the left. Kyle Jennings nearly had the game winner for the Rowdies. Great effort. Akinuri did just enough to put pressure on Jennings. Oh. Just got in his line of sight and he just couldn't finish it. Great delivery by Dennis. But that's all she wrote. Drew Felios is getting up, putting the jello in the fridge. He's going to turn off the lights. Well, you couldn't have said it better. Doherty, 100th minute. As the seconds tick down here. Jump up. Nyonga Berry. One more time. The cross on the way. Oh, just inside. Wade comes up with one more monster save to take on the road. Excellent moment. And again, Nyonga Berry 1v1, creating space for himself. Excellent cross. But he nods it down. But <laughs> you're supposed to nod it down in that situation, but he headed so acutely down. That it bounced safely to the arms of goalkeeper Wade. Full time. Take a deep breath. What a night it was. Rowdy's trailed at one point by a goal. They had to come from behind to take the draw. 1 1 the final. Los Locos will consider it a win. The Rowdies will consider it another night to learn. One point for each side will size it up and look ahead when we return to Al Lang. Can health insurance help cure loneliness? Can it take care of your best friend too? Or hold your hand for nine months? Can it be there for you at 3 a.m.? Or inspire you to go the extra mile? We think so. Which is why every day we ask ourselves, what else can health insurance do? Come find out. If you have a situation where you need a lawyer, Fear and Ferris team give you the best service that you can have. They set up all your doctor's appointments. They are very honest, very trustworthy. You couldn't be in better hands. Whiplash, sprains, strains, and tears. There's nothing soft about soft tissue injuries. But somehow, big insurance companies have the nerve to not take them seriously. If you're dealing with a soft tissue injury, call Farrah and Farrah. Our results are no accident. 
Welcome back, everybody. Somewhat of a disappointing night for the Tampa Bay Rowdies, but not all are going to go your way. A 1-1 draw to El Paso. Two tremendous goals we saw, and really a hard-fought game on both sides. Drew Felios alongside Ryan Davis as the teams make their final greetings on the field. El Paso, a team that has still not had a victory in this 20. 24 season they'll leave here from Tampa Bay feeling like they just won yeah this point is more like a victory for them a hard fought point and it came from their defense they were they were disciplined and then they created some moments of their own going forward in counter attacks early on in this game El Paso trying to take it to Tampa Bay it's Nevada's along the right side great save there by Jordan Farr was able to come out just in time Lucas Stoffer was a thorn in the Rowdies' side tonight. There was Jordan Farr once again. Lewis Hilton in Tampa Bay trying to get something going. Yeah, Perez, again, that vision, a close control, picking out Artiaga at the far post. But that not perfect first touch allowed Wade to step in. Artiaga tries to return the favor, and Perez saved off of the line. And his second bite by Christosimo again, desperate defending by Cavio. So many near goals for the Rowdies. Force Lasso mixing it up. Oh, right there, just off the post. Tampa Bay again. They continued to chop down the tree. Eventually, that tree would go down. This was just a mind boggling sequence right here. Just like that. A monster goal from distance. Javier Nevarez. No way. You got to be kidding me. Makes it a 1 0 contest. Nevarez gets it back off the placement and just blasts it. The goal of the USL week, and I'm going to put my money for the season. Unbelievable strike. And then Chrysostomo finding that space outside, drifting out, then looks up, picks out his man, Artiaga, who gets in front of Alfaro to make it 1-1. Just steps in front of his defender and nods it to him. Great technique, great team goal, and a very crucial equalizer. Ch Charlie Dennis's cross, and his with save of the day, maybe save of the week. Doesn't push it back into trouble, into the danger zone. Holds it, Drew Felios. Are you kidding me? Well, so many near goals tonight for the Rowdies. Let's take a look at the final numbers. Possession dominated by Tampa Bay. Ball was fairly physical. The yellow cards in favor of El Paso. The Rowdies able to play a little bit more within themselves. El Paso got away from themselves just a bit. Look at the shot story, though. 20, 20 to shots 10. to 10. Are they doubled them up tonight. Yeah, and with shots on target, give El Paso credit. Six of those shots were on target. They put pressure on far. He had to come up with some big saves. But Rowdy's really had some chances to put that away, and they didn't. So the Rowdies now look forward still over the next couple months. Tampa Bay is going to have their fair share of games here at Al Lang Stadium. The welcome in New Mexico United. That's next Saturday, CBS Sports Network. And then Birmingham Legion on the 11th of May. Also keep in mind, Open Cup play on the 8th of May here at Al Lang against Birmingham. The rest of the games coming up at Memphis, then hosting Tulsa and Birmingham before heading back to Al Lang. Tampa Bay and Las Vegas. That game's going to take place May 25th. So you see all the home contests coming up. Rowdy's going to get a ton of home cooking and a good chance to really build points. They really are. That's that home stretch. They have to gather points through to be competitive in the East. So there's a lot to play for in the next six weeks. If you're a Rowdy's fan, you have to beat Alang Stadium to support the team and get those points on the board. One goal apiece, Tampa Bay Rowdy's and El Paso. Both get a point moving forward here in USL Championship. Hope you enjoyed it. We enjoyed bringing it to you for Ryan Davis and our phenomenal crew. I'm Drew Felio saying so long from beautiful downtown St. Pete. Go Rowdies! Tampa Bay back at home next week. We will see you on CBS Sports Network.
This copyrighted telecast of the United Soccer League Championship cannot be retransmitted, rebroadcast, or reproduced without the expressed written consent of the United Soccer League Championship. Thank you, boys. That was some bad shit there.